All right, here we have 2 over x plus 1 minus 2x minus 1 all over x minus 3. In order to combine these fractions, we'll need a common denominator. And the least common denominator in this case will be, again, just x plus 1 times x minus 3. And what we will need to do is to multiply top and bottom of the first fraction by x minus 3. So x minus 3 over here, x minus 3 over there. And we will also multiply the top and the bottom of the second fraction by x plus 1. That way we just need to, we have already the common denominator of x plus 1 times x minus 3. At this point, I can just write the denominator down below once. And over here, you can just expand everything. So 2 times x is 2x, 2 times negative 3, negative 6. And now note that we're subtracting 2x squared minus 1 and x plus 1. Now, let us foil this. So 2x times x, 2x squared. 2x times 1, 2x negative 1 times x is negative x, and negative 1 times 1, negative 1. Great. Now, let's just copy everything down again. Note that we're subtracting these elements, so what I'll do is that I will expand the negative 1 into all of them. And before we do that, though, I know that 2x plus 2x minus x is just x, so negative 1 times x is just negative x. And negative 1 times negative 1 is just positive 1. All over x plus 1 times x minus 3. I'm definitely running out of room, so I'm going to have to continue <laughs> up top over here. Wow, that's getting messy. So negative 2x squared doesn't have any common terms to co be combined with. 2x minus x is just x, and negative 6 plus 1 is just negative 5. And we have the answer all over x plus 1 times x, plus x minus 3, which will just leave unsimplified, or rather not expanded, just because most teachers would prefer you to leave it that way. Ask yours to see what you're first. And that's it. That'll be our final answer.